All right, YouTube, so what's up? Um, today I just wanted to tell you why I am not a raw food vegan. My wife and I decided uh, a little over two or three months ago to go ahead and try the raw food diet. Um, specifically, we were introduced to it by the Life Regenerator, Dan the Man, and also Durian Rider on YouTube. And we were really motivated watching their, their videos, and we decided to go ahead and go for it. Uh, sadly, we didn't educate ourselves about the diet, and we failed. And after about four weeks, we decided to start adding some cooked food into our diet. But those first few weeks we, we were on it, we felt great. We felt the benefits. We, we went through a little bit of a detox. And our energy did skyrocket. But the underlying, the underlying factor that caused us to fail was our caloric intake. And, you know, looking into it more after the fact, uh, we found out that, that calories calories are huge in the raw food diet. Calories are probably the number one factor of why people fail on this diet. And then next to that would be too many fats, I would say, from the research that I've done now. Um, going from the 80-10-10 diet, you would say that those two things are really the only reason why people fail on the diet. It's not that it doesn't work for them, it's that they don't make it work. And that's what we did on our, on our, on our experiments. So right now, we decided just to supplement with some cooked vegan foods. We, we've been making ourselves, um, we stay away from the store-bought goods, like anything canned or, or packaged. Um, we, we don't buy, even though we're cooked vegan, we, we have our own, we have our own wheat. Um, that we grind ourselves. We have, um, we, we make our own 100% whole wheat sourdough bread. We don't have to buy our bread. Um, we, we do buy the pasta, the whole wheat pasta. It doesn't have any additives. It doesn't have any salt, any oil, or, or anything, any sugar, anything like that. So we buy that. Um, it saves us a bit of time. We do, we do purchase brown rice as well. Um, brown rice, we we like to eat a lot. We've been coming up with some of our own our own recipes, which we have enjoyed quite immensely. And I've I've been putting the recipes on our blog. I'll put the link down below. But that is something that you know if you're interested in any recipes, go ahead and check out the link. Right now there's not that, there's not very many, but I will try to get more up as time goes on. I'm kind of busy with school and and work and some other things, but. I've been working on the blog. It's, it's, it's not very old, so I wouldn't expect too much content, but there is content there. There are some recipes. Um, there's also um, my research paper I just published as well uh, about protein, the effects of protein, and, and how too much protein in a diet can be really detrimental to your health. And it, it really links the, the effects of not only too much protein, but but whenever you're getting an excessive amount of protein in your diet, it's it's linked to fatty foods uh, like meats and, and dairy and other animal products. So, you know, it's just something to look out for. If you're interested in reading that article, uh, it's there on my blog. Um, it does have the, re the, the sources as well. So if you're interested in the cold hard facts uh, about the science behind what I've made, what I've claimed and who I've quoted, you can go ahead and look for yourself. Do the research. Educate yourself. This, this is something where you need to start thinking for yourself and doing the research. Um, if you're watching TV and expecting somebody from TV telling you what to eat and what to do, well, you're going to be eating the standard American diet. You're going to be eating crap. So go ahead. If you want to be told what to do, watch TV. Look at the marketing campaigns. Buy into the protein myth. Buy into the supplements. Buy into the meat and the dairy. Go ahead. Do that. But if you're interested in thinking for yourself and, and really changing your life, then do the research. The research has been done and it's there. It's not being promoted because it's not going to make them money, but it is there. So I encourage anybody who's listening and watching, just do the research yourself. Take an hour or two out of your day or your week even to do the research and educate yourself on what's good for you and what's not. Right now I can tell you in the few months that we, my wife and I have been vegan, our energy levels have skyrocketed. Our clarity of thought has been tremendous. 
our just our relationship together has been wonderful it's been improving day by day my patience with everything has has, has gotten has gotten better um i don't know there's just so many things that that make that make you just feel great about yourself when you take care of your body your life just improves so if you're interested in improving your life go vegan if you don't want to go vegan right now go vegetarian get off the meat at least and then educate yourself and i will tell you educating yourself will give you the fortitude and strength to to stay away from the addictive substances the alcohol the coffee the tea the meats and the dairy yes the meat and dairy are addictive so educating yourself on those things will give you that strength and the fortitude to push past the the cravings and to push past just just the misinformation that's there you tell somebody that you're vegan or that you're thinking about going vegan they're going to ask you questions like where do you get your protein what about calcium what about b12 what about iron Fol folate which yeah that's what it is but you know they're going to ask you all of these things and if you don't have an answer they're probably going to persuade you to go back to meat they're they're probably going to persuade you to to go back to dairy to go back to eating sweets and coffee and tea and whatever your crutch is if you know if it's one thing or if it's multiple things so education is key in in the vegan diet and even especially in the raw food diet education is key and if you're not into that well then you know good luck to you you might fail so you know just just educate yourself don't let people persuade you this way or that until you know the facts until you know the science behind it until you know the truth because the truth will set you free as it has been in my life i've seen it so you know just i encourage you once again just take your time educate yourself and when you are educated you will move automatically to vegan to raw food to vegetarian however you want to call it whatever you want to call it you'll move there just because it's the truth and if you're not interested in the truth well I'm sorry you don't have to keep watching the videos that I'm gonna put up because I'm just gonna put the truth up and what I find and what I what I have lived in my life because I'm not gonna put anything up that I haven't lived and that I don't have a testimony of to tell you because what I'm sharing with you is coming from personal experience it's not something that I've copied from somebody else and then I'm and, I, and I'm telling you now just because I read it somewhere but it's something that I've experimented with in my own life and I'm sharing it with you now because I know it's true and now I have a passion for it It excites me just to learn about health I don't want to go and get a degree because they're gonna teach me things that I don't need to know the information is already there so why do I need to go go pay somebody for information that I don't even want to? because what they have to give me is false and I'm looking I find myself looking this way because the school is just right over here so <laughs> that but anyway I encourage you just to do your homework research if you're if you're interested in being healthy if you're interested in losing weight if you're interested in having your energy levels skyrocket if you're interested in thinking more clearly if you're interested in improving your relationships educate yourself on what you're eating it's not all about food it's not all about the diet but the diet and what you eat is going to help tremendously in your life when you can get past those things that hold you back those addictions and the gluttony and the indulgence of excessively fat foods your mind is going to be clear you, you're going to be able to think and do things that you've always wanted to do so please again and again and again I will tell you to educate yourself just get educated alright thanks for watching guys